Posting Transactions, Part 2. Let's look at the actual posting of some simple transactions. We are now at the heart of double entry accounting. To make life simple, we shall consider a shop which buys goods and sells them without any manufacturing work on them. Of course, the purchasing price will be less than the selling price. For a given article, there will be two prices, the purchasing price and the selling price, and uh, usually the selling price is somewhere around twice the purchasing price. Keep in mind the objectives of accounting. Accounting is one of the management information systems MIS, of the firm. Its purpose is to compute over accounting periods, usually calendar years from the 1st of January until the 31st of December, the profit generated by the firm, which is computed naturally enough by the sales of the period minus the corresponding cost. A second purpose is to give at any point in time, but most usually at the end of each accounting period, that is at the end of every year, a view of where we stand, what the firm owns, and what the firm owes. Let's start with posting some simple transactions. When posting a transaction, the problem always is, but which account should I debit and which account should I credit? One last comment. From now on, for a while, we shall distinguish cash on the premises recorded to a cash account and money at the bank in a checking account on which we can draw checks. This will be called a bank account. Example 1. At the end of one month, the firm pays salaries 25,000 euros by check. So let's look at the movements of value between the firm and the rest of the world. Here are the employees work came in during the month before we pay the salaries and a check goes to the employees. So work consumed is recorded into the salary account. So we can write, suppose it's September the 30th, salaries paid by check actually write salaries here is redundant because we are in the salary account and we write debit 25,000 euros that is a recording actually not of the payment but of the work coming in and consumed that's why it's in the debit and at the same time it's a double entry there is money leaving by check and therefore it's recorded into the bank account same date September the 30th salaries paid by check of course and we credit the bank account which gives out the money 25,000 euros so be clear about that the salary account records the work coming in and consumed that's why it's in the, in the debit and the money uh, leaves the bank account and therefore it's in credit here Example number two, a client which had given us some time ago an IOU now pays us cash 3,000 euros. The movements are this, cash comes into the firm and an IOU, the value of an IOU, leaves the firm. You can give it back to the client if you like, or you can just throw it out. Its value uh, has disappeared. So suppose the client is called Jennifer and it Jennifer pays us on October the 15th. So in the cash account, there are some past entries. And on October the 15th, we make an entry. Jennifer pays. So we record on debit 3000. And at the same time, we have to take care of the debtor's account. On the debtor's account, there are some past entries. There is one past entry for Jennifer when, for, for sale, for instance, she gave us an IOU for 3000 And now, on October the 15th, we record Jennifer pays cash. Therefore, this IOU is cancelled this way. We credit 
the debtor's account, 3,000. Why don't we just cancel this past entry? Well, simply enough, because accounting is a process of recording information. We don't want to lose and erase information. We want to keep track of what's going on in the firm. Example number three. We sell goods, cash, to Marcel. 12,000 euros. So what comes into the firm is the cash from the client. And we saw that we shall make an entry on credit in the sales account. That is one of these genius invention of Italian merchants. Uh, it's a bit special and it is created in order to compute later on a profit. So in the cash account, suppose now we are on October the 20th. Well, sales or sale cash to Marcel. We receive 12,000. Note that we don't really need to know where the money comes from because it's cash. But uh, in what's called managerial accounting, which looks at much more details than general accounting, it's quite important to know where uh, the money comes from, even if it's a cash. So that's the cash account and the sales account. We saw that the sales account, as I said, is a bit special. There are some past entries, usually on credit. And on October the 20th, we record sale cash to Marcel, credit 12,000. The actual description usually is simply cash. It doesn't need to be said that it's a sale. We are on the sales account. And we saw that it doesn't really uh, need to, uh, to record that it's to Marcel because it's cash. The goods leaving when we sell goods to Marcel, uh, we have to take care of them. There are two ways to do that. Modern accounting will do that in real time, uh, at the same time as we record the uh, sales. Traditional accounting will do differently. It will be taken care of at the end of the accounting period. So let's, for, for the time being, follow the traditional accounting. So we shall take care of that later. Example four. We purchase goods from Mary on credit, 7,500 euros. There are again two ways to treat uh, the transaction. Modern accounting will debit right away the inventory, whereas traditional accounting will debit a purchases account and take care of the adjustment of the inventories later, and also will compute the actual cost of uh, goods sold later. So let's keep the traditional way for a while. Whichever way, the movements are these. Goods come into the firm at purchasing price, and an IOU leaves the firm for Mary. So we credit Mary. We credit Mary. On the creditor's account, there are some past entries, and suppose it to happen on October the 23rd. Purchase from Mary. It's obviously paid with an IOU because we are on the creditor's account, which is also called the supplier's account. So we credit Mary 7,500. And at the same time, following the traditional accounting procedure, we debit a purchases account. It has some past entries. And on October the 23rd, we record purchases on credit from Mary 7,500. The word purchases is redundant because we are on a purchases account. So I'm quite conscious that this is a bit less simple than I pretend. You have to work on these things. You have to view again the video. You have to read the text that accompanies this video and you have to work.